Before they start the next chapter of their lives together, let's reminisce back 13 years ago when Ben and Amber first met at none other than the Shaft nightclub in Gympie. With friends in common, they began to see each other more and one night at the Shaft nightclub, Ben decided to make his move. So he waited for Amber to leave the club, but party girl Amber had other ideas. <laughs> Leaving Ben behind as she headed to a party with friends. Enjoying her night with her friends, Amber was finally ready to go home. Leaving the party, Amber crashed her car. Amber completely freaking out, and the first person that came to mind for help was Ben. With Ben's calming presence, Amber had calmed down. Not to mention she was completely distracted as Ben continuously asked her to be his girlfriend. Putting a sweet spin on the situation at hand and with Ben asking her out way too many times to count, Amber knew she had feelings for Ben, so she said yes. Together they went on a date to Bribie Island, getting their favourite takeaway. They enjoyed a picnic dinner on the beach while the sun was setting. Amber of course wondering if he was going to propose, as it was such a romantic date, but not getting her hopes up as she had already waited two years. So she pus pushed that thought to the back of her mind. With night upon them, they took a moonlit stroll along the beach under the stars, and that was when Ben poured his heart out to Amber and asked her to marry him. And Amber, of course, said yes. Sharing the same hopes and dreams for their future, they knew it was forever. Together, saying opposites tracked. Amber saying that Ben does a lot of the cooking and she does a lot of the cleaning. And Ben saying Amber does a lot of the talking and he does a lot of the listening. I can't believe that today has finally arrived after 13 years of watching Amber and Ben grow as a couple and as individuals. And they have beautiful, cheeky and adorable children. And they share more fights together than the WWE. <laughs> On this day, I choose to make it official in front of our closest friends and family, and this is my total commitment to you. I promise to provide for you and everything you need and nearly everything you want. <laughs> you have shown me that my trust, my love, and my heart can be given to someone safely, and today I give it wholly to you. On this day and every day, I vow to love, honour and cherish you until the end of time. On this day, I choose to walk through life with you. I choose to love you unconditionally and always be by your side. No matter what life throws at us, I know we can overcome anything together because the love that we share and the strength that we give each other is stronger than any struggle we will ever face. You have given me six beautiful children and for that I thank you from the bottom of my heart because there is no one else I would rather father my children than you. I can't wait to raise them together and to show them what love and life is with you. I promise to look after you when you are sick even if it is just the man flu. I, <laughs> I even promise to find a dishwashing liquid that you are not allergic to. I promise to continually show you where the washing basket is even when you put your clothes on the floor right beside it. I promise to show you love and respect every day of our lives. I promise to not only love you at your best but also love you and be by your side at your worst. But above all this, I promise to do my very best at being the wife and loving partner that you deserve. Ben, you have taught me how to grow as a person, shown me how to strengthen my weaknesses and supported me through my accomplishments. 
You have shown me what it feels like to fall in love. Just when I think I couldn't love you anymore, every day you make me fall in love, even more in love with you. You have shown me happiness, love and respect. Ben, you make me so happy and I can't wait for you to be the person I wake up to next to every morning and the person I go to bed to next to every night. So let's do this because there's no one else I'd rather do life with. I love you. Ben and Amber, it is with great pleasure that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Family, friends, please stand to congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Ward. Ben, you may now kiss your beautiful wife. Ben's grown to be a, a kind, generous man with a sentimental heart, which of qualities he should be and we are proud of. such a caring, loyal and beautiful person with a massive heart who, lucky for Ben, never holds a grudge. The I'll universe be chose you as my sister, but I chose you as my best friend. Amber, you always go above and beyond to make everyone else feel special, so I hope you enjoy your day where everyone else makes you feel special.